Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us for our very first Certamy Fireside Chat. Uh, I have with me Pete Nilsson, uh, who's standing by to answer your questions at the end of the webinar. First of all, we're going to spend about 20, 22 minutes just running through a quick chat that Pete and I pre-recorded a couple of days ago. Um, that'll take about 23 minutes. And then as soon as that is complete, we will uh, open it up to questions from the audience. So without further ado, I will start the video. Um, this is being recorded and we will send a copy of the recording to everybody on the call and everybody that registered. Uh, my name is Pete Nielsen. I am the CEO for the California Consortium of Addiction Programs and Professionals. Um, we are the largest certifying entity in California. We certify around 20,000 Californians. And uh, roughly how many professionals do you certify each year? Probably around a thousand or so a year. So those are the initial certifications. How about recertification? It's thousands. Uh, we're talking probably around 8,000 plus. And, uh, and how many staff members do you have managing those certification programs? We have about 10 staff members. That's good context. So our chat today is really to, to learn more about your experience with both off the shelf software and custom software and kind of compare and contrast your experience with those. So uh, let's kick things off. Tell us about your experience in the past with custom built software. Um, so what, what solutions have you built or used in the past? Advantages and benefits of limitations. So I can make it really short. Um, the, the first uh, software that we had was an absolute nightmare. Um, we understood what we wanted and we thought that what we had is, you know, what we wanted and what we found out that there was huge holes that were in the software that uh, it, when at first look, we thought that it, it looked great, it fit our needs, it had lots of bells and whistles and it, it seemed like it would do everything. But then as we uh, implemented, it seemed that it didn't have, you know, really the, the usability for the user to be able, it wasn't uh, clean for them to go and, and do an application. It seemed very clunky. There's a lot of complaints and it, uh, it from the administrative staff, uh, it wasn't bad as far as how it operated, but to get any changes, it, 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 it was good in the beginning and the implementation, but then as we move forward, we weren't being uh, responded to, we weren't getting our needs met, and it just seemed that that's where it, it fell by the wayside. And then, you know, anything that we, as an organization, we grow and change. And so, you know, um, we need to implement different uh, strategies and, and systems. And the system was not able to do that. It was able to do the one thing we originally, um, you know, wanted to do with it. And, but other than that, it, uh, it wasn't able to grow with us, you know, and that it was a, a huge uh, disadvantage to working with that software. Now, so w was this a custom built solution that was built to your spec? Was this something that was off the shelf and you had to use it as is, or was it something in between? It was, it was uh, custom built. Um, you know, we've had off the shelf as well. Um, we typically, uh, off of the shelf typically was short lived. We found out very, very quickly that it, 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 it wouldn't fit our needs. Um, the longest one we had was the one that was custom built. And that was the reason that we went to the custom build because we wanted something that, that we could mold and change as we grew. Cause we knew that we weren't going to, going to stay the same size. So we needed something that was definitely pliable, and that's what we thought we had. So that's what you were sold, but then when, when push came to shove and you actually did have to mold and change it as the business evolved, um, how difficult was it to actually make changes in that custom solution? So we would request from their developers um, what we would want, and um, towards the end, it would be, six months before we got any changes. It was absolutely terrible. What would be an example of a change that might take six months? 
Is this a huge change or would these be? No, no, it was minor changes. We, we had, you know, adjustments to the application. We needed to add in, um, you know, fields and, um, you know, we needed to add in, you know, uh, simple um, box boxes inside the application that we just needed to add some fields and, and, and make some changes, no structural changes to the application. Just simple fields, like, you know, that I could do that on a website. I could go in and make simple changes and, and adjust it on websites myself. But when it came to our application, there was nothing we could do. Any changes had to go through the developers. And if they were non-responsive, then we were dead in the water. So it would take up to six months to get a fairly relatively minor change, you know, adding a couple of fields to your database and capturing those extra pieces of information on the online application form um, many months. And uh, would that be a fee for, for those changes or was that baked into your, your uh, annual fee? Originally it was baked in. And then as time went on, it seemed like anything we want, we would, were then squeezed out for, for more money, you know, and more money after that. So, you know, if we wanted it quicker, we, we could pay them and they would give it to us quicker. So I could have got quicker than six months, but I didn't, I didn't believe that, that, you know, um, I should have to pay something that, that I already paid for. I shouldn't have to pay extra for a good service of what we already agreed upon. So it just was unfortunately an untenable situation. So it was difficult to, to quickly adapt the software to the changing needs of the business with a custom solution where you're being charged for, for change orders, did that make it more difficult to, to budget for any given year, not really knowing what your software costs might end up being? Absolutely. It, 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 it was difficult all around because at every, every opportunity, I was looking for other options to be able to change. And, um, you know, it, it became difficult because most of the options that I looked into just weren't feasible for me to move into out of my current situation. So I felt stuck. I felt trapped. I, I you know, and uh, being able then, you know, how the other thing too is um, if it felt like if I didn't continue with them that, you know, um, I would, I would have problems retaining my data. So there was definitely some worries about, you know, the, the, the organization as we moved on was that, that I, you know, may not just be out, you know, um, software, I may be out, you know, um, you know, my, my database as well. So it was definitely feeling to the point where I was feeling leveraged with that corporation and that I was not, you know, feeling, you know, uh, you know, safe to, to be able to do business because of, you know, uh, um, feeling trapped on, you know, uh, being with their system. And then, you know, how do you move out of a system that doesn't want you to move out, you know, right? that they would like to retain you um, against your will. So it was, so it, it sounds like, I mean, if we were to try and boil this down to some, some recommendations for folks that are trying to decide whether to go with an off the shelf product or, or a custom solution. Um, when looking at a, when looking at either, it sounds like you definitely need written into the contract who owns the data and what happens to your data if you terminate the agreement and also to set a, a very clear understanding on the time frame and cost for implementing change orders. I say one of the biggest things is, you know, vet the company um, thoroughly and make sure that, you know, who you're doing business with is solid and sound and, you know, always check behind the curtain. Make sure that, you know, the salesman may be amazing, but, you know, does the company have infrastructure? Does the company have a physical building? You know, those things are important to me to know that the company is actually, um, uh, real, you know, in, in the sense that, that they're not a fly by night organization, you know? Um, so I, I, that's something I would definitely give to people would be, you know, really do a thorough vetting of who you, you know, use for your platform. Um, because, you know, you, you, 
if you do the marriage you're going to be in it together for a long time and and they're really supporting the core aspect of your business which is certifying professionals right um now with this this custom solution that you used in the past was it initially presented to you as as a good fit to the way that you ran your business when you first implemented it was it a fairly good fit and then there was some divergence as you wanted to change the business and the software couldn't keep up well i i think that it it seemed like a good fit in the beginning it it definitely was impressive um and you know out the gate and you know it, it seemed like it would do everything um but you know the devil's in the details right you know, and and being able to thoroughly you know um test out something that you're going to use you know um i think you know was was something that we didn't know what it would look like until we had all the users on the system once we had all the u users on the system then we were finding that there was definitely big holes. It definitely, when we tested it out, it seemed great. We did demos, we, we you know, and, and so, so we thought that it was just, we found a magical find, you know. We didn't know that we found a nightmare, you know. So it definitely uh, was a learning experience. And it, it actually, for me, it was actually good because it changed the way that I do business with software companies. And it, it changed on, you know, what I was looking for a company. I'm not necessarily looking for the bells and whistles anymore. I'm looking for a solid platform, a platform that's, that's changeable, a platform that is, um, you know, has a, a great um, development team behind it and, you know, and a great, um, you know, customer service team behind it as well, and that they support their product. And, and I found that that's more important to me than the bells and whistles, you know, because if it's a company that wants your business, they're going to help you to attain your goals because they attain their goals. And so if you grow, then it helps them as their business to grow as well. So, you know, like you said earlier, it's, it's like a marriage, you know, and so it's a reciprocal relationship. And so that is, you know, really any time that I look for any software now, uh, that's what I look for. And I just, I do a thorough vetting of the whole company. I don't just talk to the salesperson. I think the biggest mistake is only talking to the sales team. <laughs> you need to know. The, the marketing right. folks, right? Yes. And they will sell you some great things, but they might not be able to deliver on what they actually promised. You would recommend as part of the vetting process up front, show me how change is implemented in your system and ideally show me how I can do it versus having to rely on you to do it. Right. And know and know what um, you can change or and and what you would have to put in a change order for. You know, it it's it's really important to understand all of that in the beginning. Because, um, and if there is any other additional fees for any of those change orders or, or what does that look like, you know, before you get into it, before you buy, you know, um, and is there any upgrades or anything that you will have to buy in the future? Does it come with the software upgrades? You know, these are some of the questions that I, I think that people don't actually ask, you know, um, you know, they think about the immediate need right now. Oh, I need a you know um a solution you know i need a database you know i i need you know um an application system but they don't think about what's going to happen down the road when they grow and change what do you think about the, the the new SaaS kind of software delivery model where instead of paying implementation fees and change fees and not really fully knowing what your cost might be um you know, from your perspective, is it appealing to have one predictable annual fee where everything's included, support, um, implementation, change? Does that does that make it easier from a budgeting perspective? Oh yeah, absolutely. And I'll tell you where where you get gouged in in most agreements is in that implementation fee. You know, and if you can find one that you have everything's included and you know the price you're going to pay, that is a dream situation, you know, that you're able to 
uh, come in, uh, implement it, and uh, then move forward and have upgrades and changes later on, and you know what your fees are. You know, it's kind of like that old thing with you know, um, uh, you know, telephone service, landline services, where you never knew what your bill was going to be because they'd add fees and fees on top of that. You know, when you got your bill, you think it is going to be thirty bucks, and your bills. Two hundred dollars for all the fees that are added on. Have you ever considered building something yourself in house, developing an IT staff? I think that you know, um, I choose to outsource because I want to focus at on my primary business. My primary business is I'm not an IT company. I am a certification organization. So you know, for me, you know. Um, it's it's good to have IT support and web support and have that in house, which I do. But when it comes to you know uh, complicated you know um, systems, you know such as a, a certification application system, then it, it's best to leave, leave that to the experts. I mean, um, you know, the solution that I, that you know I have now with Certimi is the best of both worlds because you know, I get to go in and change things and, and make adjustments and I can, you know, um, change my application to anything I want, I can change. And I'll tell you, um, that is such a, a, a great freedom to have, to be able to not worry about, you know, talk, talking to a developer on what I want. And then I don't get what I want anyways, because their concept of what I want is way different than my concept of what I want, you know? So, you know, me being able to go in and change things. And I don't think that software should be your biggest concern when you want to grow your, your company. And, you know, that should not be your concern. That should, should be, be an enabler, not holding you back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It yeah. should be able to help you grow. And, you know, so, you know, it should be a tool for growth and and not for something that you are held back like oh i would love to really do that i would love to add a new certification you know skew um but i can't because i you know it would cost me too much money because i would have to change my system and and i would have to pay another information uh, implementation fee or you know um and you know so i really like the fact that you know the, the software doesn't hinder me on my growth you know, just to wrap things up, if you were to kind of summarize for folks that are currently trying to decide how to automate and they're looking at different software solutions, some are off the shelf, some are custom, what would be the three, four, five things that you would recommend folks really make sure they vet out thoroughly before, before they move forward with a particular solution? So I would say whatever solution that you get, um, does it give you an opportunity to grow? Does it give you an opportunity to, to change as an organization? And what are the upfront fees, you yeah. know? And is there an implementation fee? I'll tell you, one of the biggest advantages with Certimi is that I, there's no implementation fee, that it's all built in. And I'll tell you um, that, you know, uh, that's one of the biggest cost savings you know, um, and I think one of the biggest reasons to uh, use Certimi is because of, you know, that, that, that there's no implementation fee because um, that can be a bear, you know, to, to be able to, to budget for that and then to be able to, you know, um, plan for that. And then, you know, if, if there's other fees later on, you know, um, I, I, you know, I would you know, worry about that as well is, you know, you got your initial implementation fee, but is there other, you know, change order fees or anything else? And having one product that just kind of gives you everything together is a huge cost savings. And it's, it's easier to then be able to move on. What my primary concern is, is that's certifying individuals. So, you know, um, and I think the other thing that I, I would, you know, tell individuals is, you know, um, when they're vetting the company, um, you know, vet the infrastructure, you know, are they investing in the technology? Are they growing with the technology? Do, do they, um, you know, 
what is their development plan for the next few years mm -hmm. on, you know, and how are they going to support you um, and your organization and support your growth? And I'll tell you one of the things that, that um, when I look at other companies and then I look at Certamy, I'll tell you the big difference for me is that, you know, you got a leadership that believes in the product and that is passionate about the product and that will, will go to any lengths to make the product better and to listen to your concerns. You know, there, there are times when, you know, I want the universe and, you know, it's great to have a, a organization that will listen to you versus, you know, and not give you the time of day. And, 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 you know, um, I, I really think that it's a, a reciprocal relationship. And that's what I like with Sir to me, you know, is the value for me is having, you know, an organization that wants me to be successful as much as they want to be successful as well, because if I'm successful, they're successful. And so that's the thing that I truly am, uh, you know, appreciate, you know, um, and, you know, being able to, uh, see that, you know, an organization, you know, believes in a product and, you know, um, that much, you know, really is uh, rare these days, you know. So, I mean, I've seen a lot of products and, you know, and I'll tell you, some of them are slick. They look good. They, they sound great. They, you know, I mean, they will, you know, uh, fluff and fold your laundry and, you know, certify individuals. But, you know, I'll tell you, when it comes to really peeling back, you know, the curtain, you know, they don't have, a, you know, uh, the infrastructure that would need to support you or to then help you grow or have a relationship that has some flexibility in it. And I'll tell you, that to me is worth gold. One last thing is communication. Also, you know, the one thing that I felt lacking with other organizations is when they changed or when they added new features, you'd be the last to know. <laughs> and, and I'll tell you that that's not good when, when they have new features and you don't know about them. And the thing that I like about Certamy is they send regular updates of what's new, what's happening, you know, the, the, you know what, um, what feedback they're getting and, and the changes that they're doing, what their plan is. And that's always really helpful for me to then plan and know what, what I need to do. And the other thing, you know, um, uh, recently, I'll tell you that, that I got an email and I was super excited. You know, Certamy had a new change. And not only did they just tell me about the change, but they had a tutorial video. And I'll tell you, the first thing I did is I watched the tutorial and then I made the changes to my application right then and there. I, I was super excited that I didn't have to call Certamy and say, how do I do this? You have this new change. What do I need to do? It was already ready there, so then I could already implement, and I, I saved so much time by then not having to, to then call and figure it out is I was able to follow the tutorial and then be able to then change my application and then add the new, uh, you know, uh, upgrades to my specifications. You know, the upgrades were there. I just needed to add them to how I wanted to implement them in my system. And I'll tell you, having a system that I can customize to meet my needs on a regular basis is life-changing. <laughs> well, thank you, Pete. I think uh, we, we've run way longer than we wanted to, so we'll have to do some editing here. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk us through your experiences and, and sharing your thoughts. And um, with that, we'll wrap it up. And thank you very much for sharing the time with us. Thank you, Malcolm. Take care. All right, everybody. Well, I hope that was uh, interesting and a good use of your time. Um, at this point, I'd like to open it up to questions from the audience. So uh, I think you should have an option to submit a question. So uh, if you do have one, please go ahead. Pete, would you like to share your video so we can uh, see you live and in the flesh? Absolutely. Fantastic. There he is, the man himself. <laughs> Um, so let's see, there is a, so first question, um, would be, um, if you had to do it all again, is there anything that you would do different based on your, your last two or three experiences and lessons learned? Um, uh, yes. And, um, if I had to do it again, 
Um, I would vet the company. I would get a solid contract. I would also find out where the company is based and what, uh, what you know, arbitration looks like if the contract goes bad. So, um, you know, uh, and so, you know, that's, that's really where I, I had the difficulty in, in at least one of uh, the, the uh, companies I worked with. Um, and others, it just, um, I didn't vet the company. I didn't really vet the product as well as I should. And I think really spending the time to get to know the product and make sure that it works um, beyond a demo, you know, that it works for you and your needs and also get other individuals in the organization, key stakeholders to then try out that, see if it, if, if it, if it really works for you before you completely switch over, um, you know, sometimes it's best to get, you know, the advice of, of, you know, uh, those that actually do the processing from the day to day um, to know that this is really worth keeping or not. Okay, great. Thank you. And there's another question here. Um, how has Certamy improved the experience for your administrators and certified professionals most? So, so what are the biggest changes or improvements in experience for both your staff, your administrators, and your professionals? Thank you for that question. Yeah, so I think the, the biggest change um, is that uh, individuals that uh, you know usually have to find where they're going to um, keep their, their continuing education when they want to renew. They have to keep that for two years. I find that, you know, sometimes they don't know where their continuing education is. They have a hard time getting, you know, uh, copies of their certification uh, or, or their certificates for their CEUs and having um, it, it in their digital wallet where they can upload it before they have to renew really it makes a difference that, you know, they no longer have to keep a hard file at home for two years. And what if something happens to it? They lose it, dog eats it, whatever, you know, um, that uh, it's- Does it's that happen hard. often? Yes. The dog, so, the dog ate my certificate of completion? Yes, that's happened a couple of times. So, um, you know, I, I, and I think the other thing is, um, you know, having, you know, um, opportunities to be able to make modifications to the different forms. That it has been one of the things that I've liked is be able to change the steps, change how, uh, how it's configured uh, to fit our needs. You know, after, you know, when we're processing so many applications, we're like, you know, I really don't like that step in that order. Maybe it'd work better if we move that step to where it's in the front of the line versus towards the end and, and you know, for whatever reason. And we get to do that. We get to do that ourselves. And we don't have to worry about calling somebody or having somebody else do it for us. And just to kind of illustrate the flexibility of the platform, um, if you wanted to re-sequence uh, an application form and a fee step, for example, does that take seconds, minutes, hours, days, months? It may take a minute or two. I mean, I, I think the real key is how many applications you have. So uh, we have a lot of applications um, and a lot of different versions. So if I want to do it universal across all my applications, it will take me a, a little while. But if I just want to make one change to one, one application, it's only going to take me a minute or two. And it's really easy. All right. Looks like we've got at least two more questions here. Thank you for the questions. Um, so, uh, let's see, this question says, we all want to avoid throwing good money after bad, but we also want to try and save a large previous investment. So the question is, was it intimidating to change to a new system? What pushed you over the edge and made it worth it for you to try certainly? Um, I agree. <laughs> I totally <laughs> agree. <laughs> um, it, and the fear in any technology is moving from one to the next and are you going to move into a worse situation um are you going to move into something that that really doesn't work for you later on and, and is it going to grow uh, with you and and you know um i had all those fears um but i think really um what really propelled me 
you know, and, and really made me willing was the fact of my previous experience was so horrible that, you know, I, I really knew what I didn't want. At this point, you know, I knew what I didn't want, you know, and I knew really where I had made the mistakes um, and where, you know, I, I, I wouldn't make the mistakes this time in, in this decision. You know, uh, one of the things is um, that I worked with a company that was definitely cheaper, but they weren't necessarily US based. And so that created all kinds of unique challenges for me when I wanted to get out of the contract. And, and you know, so I highly recommend, you know, finding a US based company that, and, and that you, you have some kind of recourse, you know, if the relationship goes bad and you need to cancel that contract. Got it. All right, we have another question. Thank you for keeping the questions in. What type of time savings has your staff experienced uh, since starting with Certamy and why? So time savings and, and where did those time savings come from? Um, I think that the biggest time savings is everybody's on the same page. With the paper application, and uh, so I'm just going from paper to electronic. So from paper application, you have to touch the paper more than once typically. And um, if you have more than one person work on that application, you have the danger of it not being put back where it's supposed to, being lost, being misplaced, and you can't have more than one person work on that application. So mm -hmm. with the electronic application system, I get to have multiple people work on that application I don't really have to worry about, you know, what's going to happen to that application. Um, and it's all backed up and it's safe. So, and um, I get to control the process, you know, and I get to see what's happening at every part of that application and check, you know, um, on that application. So, you know, that's a huge advantage. All right. Well, uh, let's see. I think we're almost at the end of our time. If anybody else has a question, uh, please let me know. I'm going to run a quick poll for the audience. It's an anonymous poll, so don't worry. Um, your answer will not be tied to who you are. Um, but just let me know, um, was this very useful, somewhat useful, or not useful at all? I'll just give you a couple of seconds, and hopefully, um, thank you. Thank you. So far, no, not useful, so I appreciate that. I'm glad it was helpful. Um, okay, well, look, with that, oh, there's one more question. So uh, let me, let's make sure we answer all of the questions. So let's see. Okay, so this question, um, and of course, if you need to leave, I know that uh, we said that we would finish at 1235 Pacific, but um, we will continue to go until we've answered everybody's questions. Um, so the question here is, how has Sotomy helped you with your CE requirements for your certifications? Um, it's really helped us to take control of the CE requirements and really um, there's a couple things that is great. They, they have a, um, a, a marketplace that you get to set up um, that can have, you could put all your uh, CE vendors and uh, in the marketplace. And then so when somebody wants to pick an online vendor they can do it right in the marketplace. They don't have to leave your website. They don't have to go somewhere else. And the convenience of that, you know, people really like that. Uh, um, and just to clarify, Pete, when when you're adding individual C providers, you're actually able through the marketplace to map specific offerings, correct? To the specific requirements of, of your various credentials. And so for the professional, they're no longer picking up the phone, calling you and saying, is this appropriate or is that appropriate or where can I get training for this particular requirement? The system's literally presenting them with a selection of pre-approved, pre-mapped CE offerings that you've already given a thumbs up to uh, for a specific CE requirement. Correct. correct? So an example is that uh, we have a six hour uh, uh, ethics requirement. And so, they can, uh, uh, when they need to renew, that will pop up in the marketplace for that particular requirement. So they can say, oh, I need to go either do it or I can go into the marketplace and I can get the six hours and only the six hours will show up for, for that particular requirement. 
and we're able to then have all, all of our requirements um, so that they'll know when they meet the requirements. So once they finish all the CEUs, their uh, uh, bubble will turn from white to, gr to green. So they will know that they completed and put everything in there. And then once um, we uh, validate, uh, it, it then changes from a green to a check mark. And, and then they know that that step's done and then they can move forward and it really simplifies it for uh, the certificate. Yeah, and for folks that might be wondering what, what, what Pete's referring to with the bubbles, um, the, the interface for the professionals on their smartphone or desktop is, uh, is a very simple traffic light system. So if they've got six, eight, 10 requirements to complete an initial application or recertification, each one of those requirements is color coded. So they've either not started it or they've started it or they've completed it pending approval or they've completed it and it's been approved or rejected. And, and all of that information is fed back through the interface, Pete, using that simple traffic light system. So not only do staff know exactly where each individual uh, professional stands, but the professional themselves, more importantly, are no longer calling you up and saying, where are we at with my application? They can simply open their phone and see it right there. Um, let's see, I don't think we have any more questions. Yeah, that was the last one. So uh, I will simply thank again, everybody for joining us. Again, this has been recorded. We will email a recording of this to you as soon as we, um, as soon as we have that available. If you are at all interested in taking a look at Certamy, we would love to demonstrate it to you. Um, you can either email sales at certamy.com to do that or if you'd like to schedule uh, an appointment, a demonstration at a date and time of your choosing, simply go to certamy.com slash demo and you'll get a little calendar icon where you can select a date and time and schedule a demo there. So again, thank you very much for joining. I know that everybody's time is precious. We really appreciate you taking 40 minutes out of your day for joining us. And with that, I'll say goodbye. Thank you. <laughs>